So, example problem 2.1. A, a baseball whose mass is equal to 0.14 kilograms has an initial velocity of negative 38 meters per second as it approaches a bat. The bat applies an average force that is much larger, larger than the weight of the ball and the ball departs from the bat with a final velocity of positive 58 meters per second. So, we are asked to determine the impulse applied to the ball by the bat and letter B if the time of contact is equal to 1.6 times 10 raised to negative 3 seconds, find the average force exerted on the ball by the bat. So, for letter A, So, we know that impulse J is equal to the mass times the final velocity minus uh, mass times the initial velocity. So, this is a direct substitution. We know that the mass of the ball is equal to 0 0.14 kilograms times the final velocity which is fast positive 58 meters per second minus the mass of the ball times the initial velocity which is equal to negative 38 meters per second. So, calculating that is equal to 13.44 kilogram meter per second. So, this is the impulse applied to the ball by the bat. Let's just underline this. So, for letter B, we are asked to determine the Average force exerted. So we can get the average force exerted since we know that the impulse impulse J is equal to the average force times the time elapsed T. So this is equal. Um, so so we have the we have calculated the impulse which is equal to 13.44 kilogram meter per second and the average force F which we are trying to solve for and the time elapsed T is equal to 1.6 times 10 raised to negative 3 seconds. So, Solving for F, we get that the average force is equal to 8,400 newton or 8.4 kilonewton. So this is the answer.